So it is uh, September of 2017 now. Um, rains are starting to come into the region, which is uh, definitely much appreciated. We've had a lot of fires um, west of us that have been pouring a lot of smoke in, and now the cold weather's coming in, and I think the breeding season is uh, going to come to a close. Looks like we're going to be in for a hard winter, and I think the breeding season's going to be... Uh, going to be cut pretty short here. Um, unlike a lot of people, I continue to go pretty much as late as I can, kind of try to make the most of the breeding season and squeeze as many youngsters as I can off of the best pairs as I can. So this little guy here in the video, he is uh, part of my crossbreeding project. And he is basically a half chasm one quarter German Owl, one quarter Old Fashioned Frill, and he is a saddle with a small crest, looks like a shell crest, short muffs, not too sure on the neck frill yet. Um, he's blue series, he seems to have a lot of bronze, I don't seem to be picking that up. This is actually a newer camera with the much better megapixels than I had that I was using back in 2016, but I don't really seem to be getting the picture quality that I was at that time. I seem to be kind of getting a little bit of a blur and not, things are not as uh, clear or sharp as they were before. So I'm not sure if you can see the bronze. I think he's probably going to look pretty black in uh, the video. Um, this little guy is actually out of a polygamous project. I have the uh, black pied has an old German owl F1 crossbred cock is mated to four different hens, um, including some of his full sisters that are uh, Kazan old German owls, and also a hen that is uh, old German owl in Uzbek, and another hen that is Kazan and Frill. And this is off of the Kazan Frill hen, and we've got a little bit of uh, quite a bit of bronze in the wing shield. I'm not sure if you can. Uh, See it or not, you can hear the last remaining turkey in the background. Every time it hears something or hears me, it seems to want to have to gobble. So that's that one. I'm going to bring another one out. There is another uh, little crossbred bird. A little squab. This is... Uh, uh, done self with uh, little white muffs and a white rump. A um, little bit of white on the head and a muff, shell crest. Kind of letting them hang around here on the, the kit loft roof. And this bird, the father. Is a uh, is the toy bronze chasm oriental frill crossbred cock, and the hen is uh, old German Allen Usbeck. So this is actually uh, actually has everything that was involved in the crosses in it. Um, it's not quite uh, completely what I'm after. Has the crest, has the little muffs. Um, actually, it looks like some of the first generation stuff I bred out of the uh, old German Owl Uzbek crosses, just with the shell crest and the muffs. I don't know if it's going to drop the wings or not, but I didn't get any beak crests or neck frills or anything like that, which I was hoping for. So it's kind of hard to say what uh, will become of this little bird, whether it will become a uh, stock bird or not. We'll let it grow up a little bit. Clutchmate was kind of even a, a greater disappointment than this one. Um, really didn't make the progress on that mating that I had hoped. Uh, it is bull system. Had much better results um, going the uh, a lot of full brother sister matings, going full sibling matings have been very good. Um, the others have not been as good, which is probably to be expected. Um, a little more uh, genetic variability 
in the meetings that aren't as close. And he's just about that age. He's not quite able to fly, but he's uh, he's not too far away from learning how to fly and uh, all that. So this is the clutch mate of the other one. Um, no uh, crests or frills or beak crests or anything like that, which is what I was hoping for. So this is, once again, this is a quarter old German owl, quarter oriental frill, quarter chasm, quarter usbeck. Um, short muffs, hanging wings. We have 14 tail feathers in this one. Um, we've got the, uh, the bronze starting to punch its way out. Um, split tail from the chasm. One of the two chasm cocks I used had a, a split tail. And this one got it. Um, you can almost kind of tell some of these in the nest. You get the split tail, you're pretty much assured, uh, extra tail feathers and whatnot. But, uh, this is the other little bird. Really can't get a uh, clear look at, uh, any colors. They're looking, at least in the view screen, they're looking pretty black. And they're not black, they're uh, blue series. They've got a terminal bar and uh, quite a bit of bronze. Uh, pearl eyes are coming forward from the tumbler side. So, uh, that's kind of the some of the current stuff going on. In the... Uh, Cross breathing. I have.